Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6. We've got some big new information as in regards to filming, Episode 1, and, you know, the whole rest of the season. Also, we've got some new information in regards to deleted scenes coming soon and a potential gag reel. Also, we've got some filming dates. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, we're first off going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6 and as in regards to them returning to filming because I just found out just today and I believe this was like a couple of days ago but it seems like the Supergirl cast are actually back in Vancouver. Some people have been around for a while. I believe there are some cast members that haven't returned yet. I'm not as sure in regards to Melissa due to her being expected to have a child sometime very soon or she's had it already. You know, she's obviously not going to publicize it because, you know, she needs that time. Chris needs that time. They need to sort of be able to breathe a bit before they get back into the world of superheroes and television. So understandably, I believe Melissa is going to be coming a bit later than the rest of the Supergirl cast. I think she's going to probably come like a few weeks later or maybe even like a month later but I would say probably a few weeks later but Supergirl is supposed to return for filming September 28th so that is pretty damn soon from now as right now it is September 3rd when I'm recording this video and I'm not sure when this video is going to come out but nevertheless we've got about you know 24 days around there until Supergirl returns to filming and so I'm guessing they're going to do a similar thing to what they did when Melissa was on Broadway that one summer two years ago. And what they did was, even though she showed up at Comic Con, she just, you know, missed a few days of her Broadway run. What they did was, they started filming with the rest of the cast, they shot all the scenes they could without Supergirl, and they actually created a storyline in that she could be in this suit and you wouldn't never see her face from the outside. And when Melissa returned to film, they just did some close-ups of her inside the suit. So, you know, it was a creative way to get out of a problem, and I believe they may have a similar thing going on at the start of this season. And so I wonder if they're going to do something similar. I kind of have a feeling they won't do, like, an episode where Supergirl is completely excluded. I think they will do a similar thing because they're going to have time to actually film stuff before episode 1 because episode 1 isn't coming out in January. It's going to come out a lot later than that, at least like April time, probably the earliest. So with that, there is a lot of time that they can just shoot some stuff when Melissa's not there. They can shoot with all the other characters and have a normal episode, but then go back and film for Melissa. So we'll have to wait and see, but that is the prediction as of right now. But as in regards to the Supergirl cast returning to Vancouver currently, Jesse Raff has officially finished his 14 day quarantine in Vancouver, so he's been back for over two weeks in Vancouver. I did not know that, and I believe some of the other cast members are back right now. I don't know if they finished their quarantine, but Jesse has officially finished it. That means the Supergirl cast are making their way back to Vancouver to begin production. And in regards to this, obviously you have all of the cast. I don't know if they're gonna, you know, slim down the cast this season. But it seems like, you know, things are going to be pretty normal, but obviously with different restrictions in place for the Supergirl cast and, you know, the way they're able to film stuff. So it's interesting to see that Batwoman is actually returning to film tomorrow. So that is the 4th of September. That is very soon. That is the earliest CW show bar Supernatural, I believe, to return. So this is our first DC TV show to return to Vancouver to film. So yeah, tomorrow, that is insane. Batwoman is back, and I believe we'll get some new looks at Batwoman in DC fandom in the next few weeks. And we'll probably get our first look at Javicia Leslie in the Batwoman suit, whether it's the same as Ruby Rose's suit or if it's different. We're going to see that probably at DC fandom. She was back actually a long time ago in Vancouver, like maybe a month ago. So she's quarantined and the whole rest of the cast is quarantined for Batwoman. So season two will begin filming tomorrow. And so, you know, the earliest DC TV show to come back, that gives me a lot of hope for the rest of the shows. And it's very exciting to see like Jesse has finished his quarantine 
and it seems like our other Supergirl cast members are back in Vancouver doing quarantine. Even if Melissa is not going to return to start filming straight away, she will return not very long after, so there is no problem about that. So yeah, Supergirl will return to filming at the end of September. So let's move on to one of the final things in this video. I want to talk about the Supergirl Season 5 disc, which is going to be coming out on DVD and Blu-ray. It is going to be including a lot of stuff. And this DVD and Blu-ray is going to be released on September 8th, so very, very soon if you live in America. I'm currently not sure when it's going to be released worldwide, so in the UK, in Europe, and other places around the world, we'll have to wait and see, but as of right now, America gets it September 8th. There is a lot to look forward to, so let's break this down. So, the extras on the DVD, and this is all coming from this one site called wiserblue.com and I'll leave the link in the description below to it and so yeah there is a lot of stuff that is extras in the DVD and is a five disc set DVD that comes with an episode guide and an insert sheet and a digital copy of every episode in the season disc five featuring all the episodes of Crisis on Infinite Earths the special crossover event is only available on the Blu-ray edition and is a limited edition exclusive. So that is some of the details as in regards to what you're going to get with Crisis. You need to get the Blu-ray in order to get the full episode count of Crisis on Infinite Earths that will be on disc 5 on the Blu-ray. They normally do that if you guys have had past DVDs or Blu-rays of any of our shows. They include like five DVDs. They have, you know, deleted scenes on every single DVD and you guys can check them out. So yeah, all right. So on this one, there is gonna be deleted scenes. There is up to five minutes of deleted scenes, which is quite a lot. So this is gonna be the first half of the season. So episode one, two, three, four, probably up to five I would guess I don't know I haven't watched the DVD yet and I haven't been on it but then this too has deleted scenes which is up to six minutes 30 which is even more than the five minute 18 count so that's over 11 minutes of deleted scenes and then we move on to the next DVD which is disc three you've got four minutes 16 seconds of deleted scenes and disc four has four minutes and three seconds of deleted scenes and then again this 5 is mainly to do with Crisis on Infinite Earths and I'm guessing there is going to be quite a lot of deleted scenes on there as well. So it's interesting to note how long the deleted scenes are and how many there are because there's always a fair amount of deleted scenes on the end of the season like this that we get. However, this is quite a lot. This is literally nearly 20 minutes of deleted scenes. That is a fair chunk. Normally you just get like a few clips that are deleted maybe one that's about two to three minutes long but never this much and i think it's interesting and i think we're gonna get some very good stuff so i can't wait until september 8th when people will start talking about these deleted scenes when the americans get it and we can have a look at what's deleted i'm hoping for some 100th episode deleted scenes maybe we'll get some more monel scenes maybe we'll get some more wind scenes that is my true hope and i'm sure all of this content is very good and it's not to say that this 20 minutes of footage wasn't good and they didn't like it because normally the scenes are actually very good if they're included as deleted scenes but they just couldn't fit it into the 40 minute episode sort of time count that the CW mandates over all of the shows. So yeah, as well as this you're going to have the DCTV Comic Con panels from San Diego 2019, just telling you guys. I was there, it was amazing seeing the panels in real life, so that is 51 minutes and 5 seconds, so yeah, check out that, because it was a really good panel, and also that's on my channel, if you want to search it up, I recorded a lot of the Supergirl panel at San Diego Comic Con 2019, so just type that in, DCTV show, San Diego Comic Con Supergirl panel. Also, I interviewed Melissa Benoist and the rest of the Supergirl cast at 2019 San Diego Comic Con. So you can find that on my channel right now. Also, the final thing, and this is in regards to the gag reel, this is going to be 7 minutes and 38 seconds. It's always great to get official confirmation that a gag reel is coming because they are a great joy at the end of the season once we've been waiting months and months and months since the shows have ended. And then we get the sort of behind the scenes look and the funny moments that happen behind the camera. It's always a joy. We got the Flash one recently for season six. 
now we're going to be getting a Supergirl Season 5 one. I can't wait for it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.